Hey guys, um, so a lot of my comments on my videos have been asking me what I was thinking about the whole Lamar Odom situation. And uh, I'm like, I don't want to type all my thoughts on it. So I just, I'm going to make a video for you guys instead. Before I start, I just want to say that this whole situation is literally tragic. Like, I don't care. You think I'm a Lakers fan? I'm, I'm not a fan of any team that Lamar Odom has ever played for. It doesn't matter. This dude, like... You got to feel bad for the dude. Um, let me just start by saying that these are all obviously reports. What we do know is that he's in the hospital. He's in really, really bad shape. Um, and, I mean, he has family by his side and also Kobe Bryant by his side. Everything else we hear is sort of uh, rumors, but there's a lot of truth to it. I've heard he's on life support. He's in a coma. And I mean, uh, his heart, kidneys, and liver are pretty much failed. He's just living off that machine, um, which at this point is not good. I mean, you could you could say that he's already dead, but he's just living living off the oxygen coming from the machine. Uh, let me just say this: you, Lamar Odom, is in this situation because of drugs. There's no denying that. They they said that they found virtually every single drug in his system. You could point out his flaws once this situation is settled. Today I got in an argument with this chick who uh this chick is saying she said she said his dad was an addict, so you would think he knows better. And she also said, I, I try to feel bad for the dude, but you can't justify his actions just because he lived a, a rough life. Are you are you fucking kidding me? Like, the guy, he's he could be dead right now. The chances of him surviving are low, and even if he does survive, he's not. He's gonna be brain dead. And you're over here, while everyone is praying and asking for prayers, you're over here saying, you're pretty much saying, well, I don't feel bad for him because he did drugs. Are you stupid? I mean, there's a time and place for everything. Maybe three or four months down the road when this whole situation is settled, whether he comes out dead or alive, you could give your opinion and say he shouldn't have done drugs. But for you to say it right now, I mean, I, I pretty much, I tried to hold myself back, but I just went off on her. Um, there's a time and place for everything. If you want to uh, point out Lamar's flaws for doing drugs and being found in, in pretty much a whorehouse in Vegas, then do that. Do that in three or four months. Don't do it right now. You got to be stupid to do that. Um, so yeah, let me just say, I'm not justifying drug use for anybody. Nobody should be doing drugs. But let me just give you guys a run of uh, what Lamar Odom had to deal with so far in his life. So ever since he was a kid, his father was a heroin addict and he left him as a child. He left. He did not take care of Lamar or anything. At the age of 12, his mom died of cancer. So there he goes at 12 years old without a mom or a dad. He has no relationship with any of his cousins or his aunts. None of them. But his father came back. You guys want to know when his father came back? His father came back after Lamar Odom made it to the NBA and had a ton of money. That's when his father came back. His son died at six months old because of this illness called SIDS. I forgot exactly what it stands for, but he lost his son at six months old. His grandfather died just a few years ago. His two best friends died in the past year. His two best friends died in the past year. And obviously, I mean, it's not hard to understand that he's battled real life depression because of all these events. Again, I'll say it right now. There's no reason to use drugs. Even if you did go through all that, there's no reason to be using drugs. But... I mean, you have to feel bad for the dude. You just heard his life story. The fact that he even made it to the NBA, the fact that he's a two-time NBA champion, the fact that he's a six-man of the year award winner, going through all that adversity is crazy. And um, if you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I've been like, the situation has hit me hard. I don't, I don't like to think about it. I don't like to talk about it. I feel bad. I've cried over it. I don't, I don't care to admit it. I have cried over it. And uh, my prayers are up for Lamar. It's just like, it's sad. The dude a couple years ago was, I remember game one or game two of the Western Conference Finals, he put up 19 points and 19 rebounds against the Suns off the bench. And now the, the guy's like in a coma on life support. 
Um, it's sad seeing how fast he's fallen. He was up so high playing for an NBA championship team. And now where he's at right now. I mean, those are pretty much my thoughts. Just a quick run through. It's very sad. And um, some people, because people know I hate the Lakers. And they come up to me saying, oh, why are you sad over the whole Lamar Odom situation? I thought you hated the Lakers. Again, are you stupid? Like, it's common sense. This is like, like, I'm not even going to answer that question. I'm like, I feel really bad. And I hope he makes it. I don't care what kind of condition he comes out. Even if he comes out brain dead, I hope he does make it. Because 35 years old, it's too soon to leave this world. Um, I mean, for the people who are, you know, um, oh, he shouldn't have done that many drugs. Okay, that's your opinion. Just please don't bring it up right now because it's just stupid. And I hope you guys agree with me. Um, all in all, this is a sad situation, and I do hope he pulls through. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. You guys wanted my thoughts. These are my thoughts. And, I mean, I hope he pulls through. He needs a ton of support. A bunch of people are visiting him in the hospital. And uh, that's it.